So I wanted to give a few statistics that I don't think you'll find surprising, mm -hmm. but I'm always shocked to read. In an AOL survey, 59% of people admitted to checking their email in the bathroom. Right. I guess that's multitasking. 19% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> said they choose vacation destinations based on internet availability. Yeah. And the one that killed me is 6%, actually more than 6%, uh, interrupt sex to check their email or text messages. There's another stat about they church. They must not be having very good sex, no. just saying, right? Yeah, no, exactly, and in church, too. So the two extremes, sex and church, they're actually using their devices a lot in both when they're, when they're being naughty and when they're being incredibly good, devices are involved. Yeah, so, uh, but by the way, I think that's so rude, both probably during sex and at church. In church, both, I know. I see I know. people using devices in church, and I want to say, excuse me, that is so inappropriate, yeah, what but doing? what are you going to do? Yeah, well, it, what it's all part of, I think, is we've adopted this approach to these devices that says the more connected you are, the better. I call yeah. it digital maximalism. You can't be too connected. And it makes no sense in so many contexts. Well, you know, the etiquette of it, I don't think, is caught up with the technology. No. But that's really not what you focus on. It's no. really the impact, as you said, it's, it's, it's having on our lives, how we live it, mm -hmm. how we think. Mm -hmm. how we focus, how we develop our brains, and really how we, I think, often sort of communicate emotional intelligence, which is very, very hard to do yeah, especially digitally, when isn't it? When you're skating the surface, you know, screens are great. I call all these gadgets screens for short. They're wonderful. They do all kinds of wonderful stuff for us. But when you're constantly living through the screen and toggling among different screen activities, you're really skating the surface. You can't go deep. And that's where the emotional intelligence begins, really, with, with deeper communication, abilities to have pauses and gaps where you can reflect. We're losing that, and that's a great loss.